Andre? Andre, what's going on, bro? How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Thank you so much for being centered in the screen. We can see you, my brother. I, I appreciate you for listening, man. I, I'm trying to. I can't see myself on the screen there, but I'm trying to do the best I can there. I appreciate you. It's a blessing and an honor to talk to you, brother. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. Where are you calling in from, bro? Well, right now I'm calling from Hawaii, but I was in Oceanside where you was many moons ago. Oh, man, Oceanside. you in Hawaii? And then you went to a... Did you grow up in Oceanside? No, no, no. I'm in the military, so... Yeah, I'm Camp Pendleton. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, my father was... was around, I was down there too, so... <laughs> Are you serious, man? That's what's up, bro. Well, I appreciate you calling in, man. Oceanside love in the beautiful state of Hawaii. It's, I think it's... What, is it, it's warm over there in Hawaii now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a little windy today, but mostly warm. It's probably like 70 right now, 75. Love it. Love it, man. Love it. Talk to me, man. What's your question, bro? Hey, just just talking to you, brother. I Just a question. Like, I didn't start learning about investing things till later in life. So I'm already up to the age where you are now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just beginning. I've got three kids now. I'm close to retirement here in like a couple years. Okay. But I'm just trying to set up things for the future as far as even investing-wise. I just started, but just understanding the basics of it and also like evaluating the companies and stuff like that. So that's very minimal. That's kind of like the question that I have. Yeah. And I'm, I'm teaching my kids, the youngest I got is 10. I have okay. three and I'm trying to teach them already uh, financial literacy with stuff that I didn't learn as, you know, growing up, you know, in, in the, you know, lower income. So how do I, process now into forward on like going into retirement finding a new position new job field and continuing to grow in the income so i'm looking for side hustles and yeah. all the other things that i can do i'm trying to figure that out uh, yeah man i think and, one i want to say i, I want to commend you andre for calling in and asking that question i think a lot of people will be a little uh, nervous They'll be like hey man i started late on investing and i got three kids no. and i want to teach them how to start earlier on now at 10 right I think especially for our community, people of color, we got to start asking those questions on, okay, what can I do better and what can I teach our young people so they're not making my mistakes and waiting towards the end of their life to start making better financial mistakes, I mean, better financial decisions, but they can start making better financial decisions earlier on when they're 10 and 12, 13, 14, right? And so, Andre, the very first thing I would say for you is uh, the very first thing is you need to sit down with a financial advisor and really go through your financial plan, really come up with a financial strategy, even though you're coming to an end with your current job. Right. Um, and I guess you're inside of the military. So are, are you are you retiring with any disability, any type of guaranteed check coming? What do you have coming uh, from the military? So retirement so far. So you don't know until probably after if there is disability added on to it. Yeah. So right now it's retirement. Yeah. Okay. So so you got the retirement, right? So if I'm you, I'm sitting down with a financial advisor and say, hey, listen, this is what I know I have guaranteed coming in. I got 60%, 70%, 80%, and depending on my disability. And you're right. My father didn't get his full disability check until like maybe two, three years after he retired where he really knew. And then like five years later, he, he got more money for disability. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Um, and so I will sit down with a financial advisor and cover that now. Are you investing into outside of your retirement strategy with the military? Are you investing into, let's say, for an example, an IRA? Do you have any mutual funds right now that you're investing into? Absolutely. I mean, I followed you. Like, I got out of the debt. I was with uh, Dave for a while, and then there I've been following you since even before. There you uh, go. We have about 80000 We got out of that, like, uh, 2018. Okay. Uh, okay. So I started doing, uh, so I got the uh, my Roth IRA going. Plus, okay. I have the uh, in my side the military. I have the uh, TSP. TSP. So, yeah, and then I got an additional Roth IRA on the side. Love it. Uh, so with mutual funds in there. So, so it sounds like really right now, what we need to be doing investing into more so businesses, real estate getting a little bit more, a, a little strategy with, with the financial advisor on what are some other opportunities out there that you can really, really invest into. Um, then also too, bro, at, at with your three kids, have you opened up accounts for them when it comes to their retirement? So w with the budget and all, that's where it's kind of a little tricky because I'm trying to pinch the pennies together to make sure I have, you know, make sure we're good first after the emergency fund and then yep. trying to put something in there. So it's like, 50 to 100 bucks, but, you know, I'm just trying to, it doesn't seem like a lot. Which no, Andre, that's a whole lot. 
Listen, that's a whole lot, man. Right now, I'm only putting fifty dollars into yeah. I'm I'm only putting fifty dollars into my nephews and my little niece. They're uh, five twenty nine a month, and they're young, right? Um, then I also have a personal five twenty nine for uh, my kids. If I was ever have kids, I'm just putting fifty dollars in there. So don't don't knock that. The fact that you're doing that, that is more than anything because that's going to grow. You're doing that. That's a month. That's over eighteen years. That's going to be at least bare minimum forty to fifty, sixty thousand dollars, depending on what the compound interest does between those eighteen years. That's going to be it's more than what. Youngest is ten, so it's going to be less than that. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, your youngest is ten. When did you start investing yeah. for them in the five twenty nine? Was that recently too? Yeah, and this, this is on. Yeah, this has only been about since two thousand uh, twenty twenty. Since twenty twenty, cool, great. So, so yeah, so we're gonna probably be at about averaging about maybe fifteen thousand um around that time, which is still gonna be great, especially for your ten year old, which is still gonna be phenomenal. Uh, but I would definitely go ahead and 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 do that. I think when it comes to you, what what I'm sensing is, are you staying in Hawaii? No, no. So I'm I'm going back to uh, I'm from Texas originally, so we're gonna go back. Perfect. And then I was thinking about real estate as well because it's kind of hard with with military life to find a location and doing real estate. So, you know, I'm just trying to find the keys and the tools to start off baby steps in order to get in the, the right position. No facts. Listen, I think one of the greatest things you could do right now in your position, number one, get with a financial advisor, have them do a deep dive into your account to figure out exactly what are some loopholes uh, that you can get around into to start investing more into the stock market. Number two, get into investing into real estate, into a small business. You've gained all this information inside the military and thank you so much for your service, right? What information can you take from the military and start a business? Because what I see with most people who are in the military, they come out and they go back into the military working as a civilian. <clears throat> and so my mm -hmm. suggestion would be, is what I told my father, like, yo, dad, you, you got all this information. How can you take this information and turn it into an actual small business? And so if you can do that into a small business, you're going to have more income coming in. Now you're taking advantage of the tax write-offs. Now you have more money to where now you can hire your kids to work for you. You can invest more money into your kids legally, ethically. We're writing off their salaries, a portion of their salaries, right? And so I would highly, 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 highly recommend that you look into those two things. Uh, as soon, I, well, I'll give it a financial advisor now. Start planning out what exactly of a small business, what can you do with that? And then three, man, I, I think, actually, no, it's not even three things. I think it's those two main things. Honestly, Andre, I think, I think where you are now is good. You just got to really just buckle down, get the right strategy and stick to that strategy. And then here's the three thing. Here's the third thing. This is where I was going. Stop saying you started late and just start saying what I'm doing and working moving forward. You know, because I think the fact that you started is better because a lot of a, a lot of people watching us right now haven't even started on the things that you've started on right now. And so I would say get rid of the the negative, you know, aspect of things and just say, you know what, hey, I'm just going to sit here and work on it. Uh, I'm educating my kids. I'm talking to my kids. And we're going to make sure that they're in a better position than us. Uh, but I'm going to work the game plan. And I'm going to come up with a small business on the side that I can do to do it. And real estate is great. But I think there's something else inside of in, inside from your military experience that you could definitely use, man. So thank you so much, Andre, for awesome. calling in. Well, blessings and love to your brother. I uh, appreciate everything. And I'm sitting in my Nissan Maximo right now. <laughs> <laughs> and <I've been> <laughs> Appreciate you, man. I love Nissan. And one other thing for you. Yeah. It, for us people, we need to start something for the kids. Like, you know, yeah. even at a young age to teach them this. And so I, if you have some tools or something, I would love to look on your website for it. Yeah. Uh, in order to help me to teach them. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually doing a show that's coming up here in, I think, in in, in a couple of days. And so, and I don't know when this show is coming up. My team will have to tell me. Uh, but I'm showing our parents uh, how to make their kids worth $10 million by the time they turn 40. And so check out that show because I'm literally walking through everything you need to do, everything you need to put, everything you need to put into position to position your kids uh, to be worth a million by the time they graduate high school, and then it just grows from there. And so I definitely will be posting more content on that because I'm 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 very big on legacy right now. And so thank you. You just you just really encouraged me to keep doing that, man. So I appreciate you, bro. Oh, thank you. All right now, God bless you. Bye.